Many people may have told you that your eyes resemble your mother and your hair resemble your father. How and why does this happen? Let's find it out in this chapter Heredity and Evolution. Hi friends, welcome to first lecture of class 10 science chapter 9 Heredity and Evolution. I have divided this chapter into four parts. In the first lecture, we shall discuss variation. In the second lecture, we shall discuss heredity and sex determination. In the third lecture, we shall discuss evolution and speciation. And in the fourth lecture, we shall discuss evolution and classification. So guys, welcome to the series. In the previous chapter, we learned that reproduction is of two types. Sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, two parents are involved, while in asexual reproduction, only a single parent is involved. In sexual reproduction, visible differences can be seen in the offspring. These differences are called variations, while in asexual reproduction, the variations are very less. For example, if we observe a sugarcane field, we can find very little differences between the sugar canes. But human beings are quite different from their parents. This is because sugar cane reproduces by asexual mode while human beings reproduce by sexual mode. So now let's understand more about variation. So inheritance from the previous generation provides a common basic body design. For example, a human being will obviously give birth to a human and not to a dog. But the offspring might have some minor variations. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So in this example, we have a parent and it reproduces to produce two offsprings. These offsprings are the generation 1. Th these generation 1 will have some inherited characters from the parent as well as have some minor variations. Now consider that this generation 1 again reproduce to produce the second generation. Now this second generation will have differences that they inherit from the first generation as well as newly created differences. So in this way, the variation keep on accumulating. So this was all for today. In the next lecture, we shall understand more about heredity. Thank you.